Hi, Alan here, RVCrossAmerica.net, and this is a follow-up post to the RV show. Uh, this is uh, going to be about introducing you to a brand new fifth wheel company, and we're going to talk about that in just a minute, but I've got to also uh, just welcome you to the endless winter here in the Salt Lake Valley. Uh, we're expecting another day here in the uh, with highs in the valley in the mid-30s. The normal high at this point is over 50 degrees, uh, probably up around 52 or 3. And uh, <clears throat> finally, the long-range forecast has a chance of us getting up in the 50s next week uh, down here in the valley. The uh, mountains continue to receive snow. I skied yesterday on 17 inches of fresh powder, and that was on top of about 24 inches that occurred in the prior uh, 24 hours before that. So there was over 40 inches of snow that fell up in the cottonwoods. That's Solitude and Brighton and Alta and Snowbird. Uh, they're all within a couple of miles of each other, even though it's two separate canyons. I'll be detailing that in a post about the Icon Pass and skiing all winter and how that's worked out. Um, but it, it's just incredible. I mean, the, the snowfall totals are now over 600 inches at some of the areas. And base steps are over 140 inches. Um, it was a crazy day up on the mountain, and getting around here was crazy yesterday morning with the snow removal down in the valley. We actually had five or six inches down here in Draper, which is uh, um, challenging to get around in early in the morning. <clears throat> but uh, the, the winter marches on. It looks like there's going to be clouds and off and on snow for the next several days up in the mountains. Fortunately, down here, I don't think it's going to accumulate much, but uh, up there... Uh, this weekend could be another one to two foot snowstorm. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Okay, let's talk about fifth wheels. Fifth wheels are a very important segment, in my opinion, of the RV market. And uh, that's partially because they're great for living in full time. I do. Uh, you know, I live in one full time now, and I've been in fifth wheels since I started out in 2011 um, full timing. <clears throat> the alternative would be a motorhome. Uh, fifth wheels are definitely a better tow than a travel trailer, and if you have enough truck to pull a fifth wheel, I always recommend to my RV clients that a fifth wheel should be on the table for consider uh, on the table for consideration. Um, motorhomes are great too, and motorhomes make sense for certain individuals. And again, for my RV clients, uh, my concierge service, uh, I have a conversation with them about which way to go, and basically um, help them evaluate which is the better road for them, whether it be a motorhome or a motorized vehicle or a towable, uh, and if it's going to be a towable, preferably a fifth wheel. So there's a new fifth wheel company. This fifth wheel company is called Brinkley, and, and for that reason, this post is going to be at rvacrossamerica.net forward slash Brinkley, B-R-I-N-K-L-E-Y. Brinkley is a brand new company. Uh, they have built a couple of prototype campers that they've uh, field tested and uh, ha are showing off at the RV shows. I was at, of course, the Sandy, Utah RV show. I had an opportunity to see their rear living fifth wheel, which is a 34-foot, 11-inch uh, footprint. Uh, that's their uh, bumper to hitch length. Uh, and I also saw one of their toy holers. They're going to make two different toy hauler models with the only difference being the length of the garage. Right now they're planning on an 11 foot and a 16 foot. And in the post, I have thoughts about that. And I want you to read the thoughts and feel free to share them with Brinkley if you agree with me after you read them. Because I'm hoping that Brinkley, because they've built prototypes, is going to rethink a few of the things that they're doing. I think that they're generally on the right track. I think that they're uh, on track to make a quality product, which is sorely needed in the RV industry, especially in the fifth wheel um, segment of the market. But um, <clears throat> I think that there are a few things that they do need to correct uh, before I would be a buyer. And again, in the post... I detail a lot about the camper. I took a lot of photos. There's a lot of information there for you. So if you're a fifth wheel person or potentially a fifth wheel person, whether you're full time or part time, this is something worth considering and, and certainly worth knowing about. Um, what I did like is there are many innovative aspects to the Brinkley. They're well insulated. They're stylish. I do have some issues with the main storage bay and a few other issues with the campers that I, I very frankly and openly discuss in my post. And uh, they come down to design and engineering issues. And uh, 
you know, we'll see uh, how much traction, if any, uh, my comments get. And um, I certainly welcome hearing your thoughts after you read it. It's going to be at rvacrossamerica.net forward slash Brinkley. And again, they are B-R-I-N-K-L-E-Y. Alan here from rvacrossamerica.net. I'm taking a day off from skiing. Frankly, I'm working for a couple of my concierge clients today, uh, trying to close a couple of deals and negotiate on a couple of things. And, uh, well, we'll go from there. Um, if you're looking for a camper and you're, you're looking to, uh, have somebody that's a guide by your side, somebody will have your back. You can look me up at rvacrossamerica.net forward slash buy sell. That's B-U-Y-S-E-L-L. Anyway, have a great morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're seeing this and, uh, get back with me. Oh, and like the video, please. And, uh, you know, give me some comments, feedback here, thumbs up, whatever. Hey, take care. Bye-bye.